Judge Dread to some, Mr. Nasty to others. Holy moly, with us tonight is the incredibly arrogant Simon Cowell. Well, uh, don't forget incredibly rich, Nancy. <laughs> right. So, Simon, what could you possibly come up with that would beat American Idol and America's Got Talent? Well, here's the thing. Did you know, Nancy, that more people voted for Adam Lambert and Kelly Clarkson than they did in your last presidential election? Holy moly! No, I, I did not, Simon. I'm sorry. I'm only being honest. So, yeah, we've come up with an American Idol style show to replace that incredibly dull electoral college thing you have here. We are breaking a live exclusive here. All right, Simon Cowell, what is your next show? It's President Idol. President Idol? Yeah, you know, 500,000 hopefuls go through a demeaning series of auditions to find the next US president. President for uh, a week or a month? No, full term. Or until the next series gets picked up. So, Simon, to recap, you are running a nationwide competition, the winner of which is going to become President of the United States of America. Correct. Holy moly! <laughs> that is an incredible idea! I know. Now, but now, Simon, tell me honestly, now, how is that going to benefit this great democracy that we call America? Well, you see, what you'll end up with, Nancy, is a president that most of the population have actually voted for. Actually voted for? Now, that, that is an interesting perspective if you're a socialist. So, Comrade Cowell, what are you going to make these contestants do? Uh, an up-tempo rock number and a ballad. They're going to sing? That's the main ability they have to have, yeah. I mean, that and good rhythm. Of course, it helps if you're straight. Oh, that's right. No, you cannot win American Idol if you're a homosexual. No, you can host it, but you cannot win it. <laughs> no, no, no. So, Simon, so we are going to have a president now based on the quote-unquote popular vote, so to speak. Yeah, and who can really sell records. I mean, <laughs> let's not take our eyes off what's really important here, Nancy. You know, I like you. I like you a lot. You should try out for it. <laughs> you think? Really? No. So, Simon, what about the incredibly important skills one needs to be the leader of the most powerful nation in the world? Do you think these entertainers are just going to pick those up? Well, it worked for Ronald Reagan. Now that, it surely did. Now that was a great Republican. And that was a great example of the ingenuity that made this nation what it is today. Oh, you mean a nation on the verge of almost total moral and financial collapse? That is all we have time for. Next week in the studio, Rachel Ray spices up the Senate with...